Hello friends, are you feeling bored sitting at home? Come on, let's have some fun. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet and dance with us. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord. It's prayer time. Let's pray together and talk to God. Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Christ in the Zen. It's your in church. And today's prayer point is we are praying with thanksgiving in our heart, thanking the Lord for the answers to all our prayers. We are thanking the Lord that as we continue in prayer, we know that we have victory always. Glory. And we will pray. So lift up your hands, close your eyes and pray with me.
अरे बस के रिपोर्ट के बगल टेक बोल सकर पर आनंद के नाम दोस्त के और ये हमले कर आनंद दोस्त के पंडाल और नेला बच्चों की दिक्कत है तेरे वक्त मंत्र बुझे और ये बस के रिपोर्ट का बहुत धन्यवाद कर रही हूं धन्यवाद जी शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत मैं धन्यवाद जी के लिए बहुत बहुत थैंक यू जी जस्ट थैंक यू लॉर्ड थैंक यू और स्पेशल नेमा प्लीज जी के लिए बस के पंडाल और नेला बच्चों की दिक्कत है तेरे वक्त मंत्र बुझे और बस के रिपोर्ट का बगल टेक बोल सकर बात और ये हमले कर आनंद दोस्त के पंडाल और नेला बच्चों की दिक्कत है तेरे वक्त मंत्र बुझे और बस के रिपोर्ट का बगल टेक बोल सकर बात ये अंदर करा अंदर उसके लिए पंडाल और पंडाल बाहर चंद ली कर जिंदगी का मंत्र बुझे रे बुझ करे बुटे का बंगले टिको शकर बा और जी करो बजा लाल बरे बुझ करे बुटे का बंगले टिको बस शकर बा अंदर करा अंदर उसके लिए पंडाल और धन्यवाद परमिशन धन्यवाद ईशु हम थैंक यू लॉर्ड थैंक यू ओरिस्पेक्टिंग Today we are going to learn a beautiful language which is sign language. Do you, do you know there's so many benefits of learning sign language. Sign language gives your brain a good workout which means you can focus on your studies and things better. It improves your peripheral vision and reaction time. You can communicate with babies too. It improves your communication skills. It helps you become a better listeners and improves your body language skills wow so come on let's learn sign language and our parents can also join us in this today we are going to learn song in sign language hooray so come on let's begin something about his name oh my master my savior oh jesus
It's time for Rhapsody of Realities for Kids. We are going to learn so many amazing things. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Welcome friends, it's time for Rhapsody. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Today's date is Sunday 3. We don't fail. Deuteronomy chapter 28, chapter 28, verse 13 says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not be beneath. It will be a strange sight to see a rabbit barking. Wouldn't it just as it's strange for rabbits to bark? Do you know it's also strange for God's children to fail? It sure is. Failure ceased to be possible for you the moment you were born again. Sadly, some Christians still fail and the reason is that they don't know who they are in Christ. Joseph chapter 4 verse 6 But you know who you are. Hallelujah! Therefore, put in your best in all your tasks. And assignments. You are always come out of top. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today's scripture reading is 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Hallelujah. It's confession time. Lift up your hands and close your eyes. And say with me. I declare that I am victorious. And more than a conqueror in all things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bye bye friends. It's time to have some more fun. Come on, stand up and dance with us. Let's enjoy. I'm standing tall right now. Oh, oh, and on that I'll be great Oh, oh, oh. great is he in me Than he that is in the world I'm a cha 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 Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-
hallelujah how are you all say i am blessed i am excellent and wherever you are with your friends your parents your brother sister whoever is around you just give them a high five and say welcome praise the lord hallelujah i am sure you all are excited to hear today's story and today we are going to talk about noah hallelujah praise the lord the bible tells us that noah was a righteous man that means he did whatever pleased god hallelujah he was a god fearing man hallelujah but during noah's time the people were wicked bible says that everyone was doing which according to god was evil wrong hallelujah every thought every work was evil hallelujah and god made up his mind to destroy the entire world by bringing a flood but god found noah as a righteous person and god decided to save noah and his family so one day god told noah i'm going to destroy the entire world it will rain and the whole world the, the entire earth will be covered with water and and it will destroy everything but i want to save you and your family and hence you need to make a big ark a ship a big ship hallelujah and god gave him all the details which would to be used how what is what would be the height what would be the width how many windows doors rooms everything every minute detail was given to noah by god how to build the ark and as god instructed noah immediately started to work upon it noah had never built a big ark he had never seen flood or you know so much water and he did not think he, it is not possible how is it possible that the entire world will be destroyed the whole earth will be filled with water no it is not possible he did not think that he did not think like that he had faith in the word of god and he followed the instruction given by god and he started to prepare the ark hallelujah i am sure it took a lot of time to prepare because it was such a big ark hallelujah in the same way we need to ask ourselves what kind of life are we living are we living a life that is pleasing god as a child of god always remember we should live a life that is pleasing god hallelujah we do what the word of god tells us every instruction we get from god we have to act on it immediately just like noah hallelujah you might ask does god talk yes god talks god gives us guidance instructions and the other place where we can find god's instruction guidance is the bible hallelujah and that is why it is so important as a child of god that we read the bible every day because as you read the bible you will know god's mind god's plan god's instruction you will receive guidance hallelujah praise the lord and as i said we need to act upon it immediately hallelujah noah had faith on the word of god in the same manner we should have faith on the word of god and if we don't have faith we'll never be able to do the word so we need to believe and how does faith come faith comes from the hearing of the word when you read the word you are hearing hallelujah and that is why it is so important to read the bible every day hallelujah praise the lord it is important to pray it is important to do whatever the word of god is asking us to do hallelujah that is how we can live a life which is pleases god praise the lord hallelujah and when we read the story ahead we know that when the ark was ready you know noah 
God prepared the ark, he built the ark, the ark was ready and as they all entered, Noah, his family and God had told, told about the animals, you know, animals of, uh, animals will come in pairs, so all the animals came and once the door was shut, it started raining and it rained, it rained, it rained, hallelujah and the entire world was destroyed hallelujah the same water which destroyed the entire world was not able to destroy noah he was still protected in the ark why because he followed god's instruction hallelujah the same water which destroyed the entire earth everything on earth was lifting Noah's ark. Hallelujah. God protected Noah and his entire family supernaturally. Hallelujah. God had a plan for him. Praise the Lord. Why? Because he was a righteous man. He was a God-fearing man. He did what God had asked him to do. Wonder if Noah had thought, okay, no, no, it is not possible. No, no, no. How, how can it rain so much that the entire earth can be filled with water? And imagine he wouldn't have built the ark. What would have happened along with the other people? He and his entire family would have been destroyed. But just because he followed the instruction, he was saved supernaturally. Hallelujah. So do you understand how important it is to do the word of God? God. When we do the word of God, yes, we are blessed, we are divinely protected. All things will be working together for our good. Hallelujah. So, as I said, now, from now onwards, we should take out time to read the Bible. So you can know God's mind, God's plan. You can have guidance, inspiration to do all that God has called you to do. And if you don't have a Bible, tell your parents to get you a Bible immediately. Hallelujah. Every day, take out time to pray. Share the gospel with your friends, with your family. Tell everyone how God loves everyone. Hallelujah. And God wants to save each and every one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And do share this message with your friends, your family. Tell them how important it is to do the word of God. And you should have faith in the word of God. And share the link with your friends. Watch the program again with your friends. Hallelujah. And make sure that you're joining us next Sunday. And make sure that you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow! We learned so many beautiful things today. And now it's time for Confessions. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome friends. It's time for Confession. Lift up your hands and close your eyes. And say with me. The word of God had made me wise. I make wise decisions at all times. I walk in God's perfect will through the wisdom of God working in me. I live a life of victory every day. I reach out in faith today and receive all my heart desires. Through my life of faith, I inspire others to follow Jesus. I am a victor. I am more than a conqueror. I refuse to be timid or afraid because I am a child of God. I am willing for Jesus 
all the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bye bye, friends. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're watching our program for the first time and you have not received Jesus as your Lord, as your friend, so here is the opportunity. You can say this prayer with us and you can receive Jesus as your Lord and your friend. Hallelujah. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hands towards heaven, believe in your heart and say this prayer with me. Close your eyes. Hallelujah. Dear Father, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe that he died for me and God raised him from the dead. He is alive today. I receive Jesus as my Lord, my Savior. In Him and through His name, I receive eternal life. Thank you, Father, for I am born again. Thank you for saving me. And from this day, I am a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have prayed this prayer with us, welcome to God's mighty family. Hallelujah. And if you have prayed this prayer with us, this is the time where I will pray for you. Thank you, Father. I pray for each and everyone who have received Jesus as their Lord, their Savior. Thank you, Father. I say Satan has no power over their life. Jesus is their Lord and Savior. I bless them with your word, with your Holy Spirit, with your blessings, O Lord. Hallelujah. They are blessed. They are divinely protected. Yes, Father, I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the time where we can give our offerings. If you're watching us from a center, you can give your offering in the center itself. If you're watching us from your home, details are on the screen. You can speak to your parents and you can give your offering through bank transfer. Let's pray for the offering. Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity and the grace to bring our offerings. We say that the offering is sanctified by your Spirit, O Lord. Thank you, Father. As we have given, receive a multiplied harvest in the name of Jesus. We shall not lack any good things in our life, Father. Thank you. We invoke your blessings upon them and we say that they are multiplied for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the time in case you're not well, you're sick, we we'll pray for you. And believe me, when we are praying, the power of God is available to heal you. Hallelujah. It is God's desire. Every child of God should always walk in divine health. Yes, God has given us divine health. So in case there is any health problem, just lay one of your hands over there and lift up the other hand and let's pray together. Oh, thank you, Father. I pray for each and every one. If anyone is sick, oh Lord, I pray for them, oh Lord. I command every sickness, every infirmity to leave in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I command every pain to leave. Hallelujah. The bones are strengthened in the name of Jesus from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, oh Lord. Yes, oh Lord, every part of the body is functioning properly in the name of Jesus. Sickness has no place in their body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we are praying, your power is at work, O Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Health is restored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Say they are healed, they are healed, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen, hallelujah, praise the Lord. If you have prayed this prayer with us, we know that you've received your healing. Do call us and let us know what God has done for you.
thank you and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sure you all had a great time today. And whatever is being taught, do share with your friends. Hallelujah. And there is a very important announcement. Pay attention. On 29th, 30th and 31st of July, we are having healing streams with our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. And what we are supposed to do, look for people who need healing. They might, they might be people in your family, friends, society, school. Tell your parents. This is a very special three-day program wherein Pastor Chris will be praying for people who are sick. And one important thing that we need to do is that we need to register them. The details are on the screen. Tell them about the program. Share the information. Share the date. It is on 29th, 30th and 31st of July. The registration is very simple, but make sure that you're registering them and ask them to watch the program. It's their set time for the miracle. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, let's thank God for all the wonderful things God has done in our lives, for His love, for His grace. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are, you can rise up on your feet, lift up your hand, close your eyes and let's thank God. Thank you, Father, for your love, for your grace, for your word. Thank you, thank you. I pray for each and everyone watching this program, Father. I say how they are blessed and they are a blessing, O Lord. They are excellent. The spirit of excellence is at work in them. They are divinely protected. They walk in health, O Lord. They are champions. They are preaching the gospel like never before. There is peace, there is joy, hallelujah. And your grace is working in every area of their lives. Thank you, Father. There is peace in their homes. Thank you, Lord. Thank all things are working together for their good, Father. I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Amen. Let's share the grace, the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of God now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you all and make sure that you're joining us the coming Sunday. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you. Wow, I know you had so much of fun today. To enjoy, make sure you watch this with your friends again. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, like, comment and share. Thank you and God bless you.